Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melda Production. Today I'm going to show you something new in M Sound Factory. With version 15, they updated lots of things and they added a new feature that's really cool, and it's in the modal filter. So let's go into here. We have our modal filter, but before that, I'll just let you hear what this sounds like. It's just a normal sign sweep. I showed this in previous videos. It sounds like this. Right? Basic. Now if we look in the modal filter, everything looks pretty much the same, except if you look in the harmonics here, you notice to the right it has a new resonance. Uh, slider. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. What does this do? Well, I'll show you. But let's first go in and turn all these harmonics on, reduce the number of harmonics to, let's say, eight, and let's just hear it now as it is with the resonance all the way up, the global res resonance, I should say. Easy enough. Now, if we turn this global resonance down, it sounds like this. Just a click sound. What we're going to do now is add in some more of those harmonics. So if we take that and we go in here and manually turn some of these up like this. So now we can go in and we can actually adjust these however we see fit. Now this is great, but if you're wondering this is nice, but these are just following the harmonic ser series. If you wanted to actually change this to something else, you can. We go into the structure here. See, now it's on A. I'm going to go in here and let's change it to something else. I recommend using, it some, using something that has more harmonics that are higher in volume here. So if I use the bottle here, the second, third, fourth, etc. These are all really low in volume, so it's not going to work quite as well. I think maybe bamboo, no. Wood. That seems pretty good. Plastic, that's not too much better. Anvil, eh, metal. Metal seems okay, but let's try wood. So now that we have this going, I'll play it once with no resonance. Now let's start turning some of these up. Turn it up a little bit higher so I can hear it. I turn this up a little bit higher. It's kind of like nice wood block sound. Almost like a marimba. And of course, we can adjust the resonance even more, however you see fit. You can detune them if you want, you can widen them. There's all sorts of interesting things you can do. But I'll show you one device that I've been working on that uses this. Go to A here. I made this, uh, I don't know, I called it Chanophone, but I probably need a better name. But this is what it sounds like so far. From here, we can adjust the different volumes of this. Turn that down, move one of the higher ones up. So we're getting a sound that's almost like a combination between an electric piano and an organ. And then you can put effects on it and other things like this. You can do whatever you want with it. And of course you can adjust the key panorama, the hardness, which go from like a hard sound like this. Actually, move it up higher. There's all sorts of things you can adjust with this. And you can even put an amp on there like this. There's lots of things to adjust and play with and also has a randomizer here if you want to you know, do some crazy stuff like this maybe. I have to apologize for my keyboard playing again, but I hope you get the idea. I'm using this just with the harmonic series, but of course you could use any other setting of the harmonics you wanted to using the structure, which I showed before. You can create all sorts of interesting sounds and adjust them however you like. It's really fun to play with, so play with it yourself. Have fun. Tell me about it down below. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. 
any questions, as I said, leave those down below and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.